Hi, uh, still broadcasting from south of Barcelona on the Mediterranean. Uh, just wanted to, I guess, talk about maybe things that you believe in or don't believe in. Uh, I, before I got on the road this time, and off times when I do, I uh, go to the wall in the house, and I've got this thing hanging on the house, and it's, it looks like a little hangman's news, I know. Uh, but the, when we, when my month long in Maui, when we helped, get the Dharma Center in Maui ready for the Dalai Lama's visit, uh, Lama Gelson had to weave 500 of these. And it's a special knot, and he would do the knots while he was meditating. And during the month long, I'd ask him if he would get me a protection mala. And I, I've carried one for years. And he was kind of brusque, no. And I said, okay. Well, he said, after the ceremony was all over, he said, I was supposed to make 500. It, you know, it was, the Dalai Lama asked for 500. And he said, but I made 502, one for you and one for mom. And he said, the, he said this is not the knot, but there are knots that are so well uh, designed that it makes, that people have to take them off when they go to the hospital to, so they can get injections. And it makes them pretty much impervious to a whole bunch of things. And I wear it. And I was contemplating, wondering, you know, what, what, am, what is a protection mall for? What, I, what do I want it for? Why do I, as, you know, am I afraid of dying? Do I want to protect myself from dying? And I thought, no, I don't, I don't think that's it. Uh, you know, I get reminiscent of my friend Stuart, who, when he was really close to death, and we talked on the phone, uh, and he said, I wonder what's coming next, with a profound amount of curiosity. You know, no fear as far as I can tell, just, you know, looking at the next adventure, like, what, where is this consciousness going to go from here, if anywhere? But I thought, you know, okay, and it doesn't want to, am I protecting myself from personal injury? Uh, maybe that's it. But, <laughs> it's just, I mean, my mind is not normal, I know that, I'm okay with that. I, and, uh, quite a few years ago, I found out that I'm a fit, a misfit, and um, I was really happy when I found that out, that I wasn't wrong. But I thought, I think what I'm wearing this protection law for is that if I, something happens to me and this physical life ends and I'm wearing it, I won't have to go to heaven. <laughs> I, I'm sorry for enjoying that so much, but it was like this profound revelation a few days ago. It's like, maybe that's what it's about. One of my great fears in life is that, that when I die... I will go to heaven, and I will have to spend eternity there listening to people play the harp and proselytize on how great their belief is. And it's not where I want to spend eternity. It's not what I want to do. So I guess maybe that my protection model is protecting me from going to heaven. I really don't know. But it was kind of one of those startling revelations, like I said, and uh, I like it. www.micpeakperformance.com